Well, all in all, it's not a bad day. The wind has been pretty bad. Oh, 20 knots are better. There's a real little activity going on for Memorial Day weekend. Uh, we have not seen a single sea dew. And there's only three boats in the water from here. Well, I prepared these uh, whiskey barrels uh, eight or ten days ago, and my bride has planted them with the marigolds we grew from seed. We put the cages around them because the squirrels are real bad about digging them up. My bride is over there. She's weeded that bed yesterday, and uh, today she's adding a little color to it by putting a few marigolds in it. Although this pond is in desperate need of a reliner, which we hope to do this year, a lotus has bloomed. They only uh, come open in the daytime. We had them in the yard for years and they would come open. My wife would get home from work and it would be closed up. And dahlias have come up in these pots and there's the variegated calla lily and that's the no, non variegated one. Need to take this cage off of it. Trying to add a little color. We put some colliers in here. It gets dapples of sun. And there are the hostas I grew two years ago that I put in there last year. Uh, those in right conditions can get 54 inches in diameter. If you watch my other dahlia, video when I was planting them you saw one that had a big long white shoot out that looked like endive that's the one on the right now this is like eight days it is turned green and sent out that much growth see that one's got them growing all the hydrangeas are setting flower heads that money plant came up volunteer we haven't had them in here for two or three years I don't know where the seed came from but my bride said she found a uh, it had grown somewhere and this the seeds turn gold after a while and uh, They get like paper and they fall the seeds will fall out. You can see there's anywhere from four to seven eight seeds in a In a seed pod So she said she did push a few of them under the ground last year, so that's where they came from Well our clematis down at the river has bloomed. It's pretty nice. Got a lot of flowers still left to open This would have had a lot more flowers on it if I trimmed it back some. These hydrangeas have set many, many flowers. It's going to be a pretty plant. And if you want them to be blue, you need to start acidifying them now by putting acid fertilizer on it. Fertilizer that you would use for uh, azaleas. This one gets more sun, you can see. And this one gets a lot less sun but they have a lot of flowers set. It ought to be beautiful. A glorious rhododendron. It's definitely gets the shade here. Uh, we have a wild cherry tree. We very rarely get the cherries on it because the birds really love them. I wish this was in full sun. You'd see how gorgeous this flower is. I'll show you the other one. And here's the other one. It looks like it's a few days ahead of the other one on the other side. And this got frozen during the winter. Need to come in there and clip this out. Since it won't ever grow and it detracts from the beauty of the plant. A little breezy down here today. Water's muddy. Had a super low tide today. 